Nets take one on the chin, 127 to 104 to the defending champions. And moments ago, Nets head coach Steve Nash met with the media. How, how would you de describe the uh, uh, defensive problems you, you had with them? Yeah, it wasn't good. Obviously, you know, um, you know I thought we, were, we weren't as sharp as we needed to be. Uh, probably weren't as physical as we needed to be, weren't as organized as we needed to be. Um, you know, but at the same time, I, you know, the one thing that disappointed me more than anything was just loose balls, hustle plays. They, they seem to win them all. So as we're trying to find ourselves and explore different rotations and, and find that cohesion, we gotta, we got to make it more uncomfortable for people. Kevin had talked about uh, making sure this season that you guys had, if not more possessions than the other team, certainly more than you were giving away last year, you know, keeping people off the offensive glass, not turning the ball over. Um, how concerning is it that, you know, right off the bat, the two things that kind of you guys have been pointing to are two things that rear their head today? Well, we've talked about it. We talked about it the night before training camp. We've talked about it throughout training camp. So the guys are, are aware of it. That's uh, an Achilles heel for our team. So. You know, we got a long ways to go. We got a long time to try to clean that up. Um, you know, and I think it's, it is characteristic of our team that just needs constantly to be addressed and you know, to combat that as any way we can every night. Steve, what'd you like about starting Nick, Blake, Kevin, kind of adding more of that size up front? Well, yeah, I mean, the, the we, we took a look at the big lineups. Um, you know, we don't want to overreact. Well, obviously, it wasn't great tonight, but we just weren't great. I don't know if it was a big, small lineup, whatever. We just didn't play well tonight. Um, it's, it's new. We got a lot of guys that are brand new to each other trying to figure it out. So th this is going to be a process for us that, uh, you know, we have to just stick to. And as we explore those lineups, as we critique and uh, assess those lineups, you know, we, we have to be patient and uh, we have to be willing to continue to work together even when things aren't, aren't great or we haven't found it yet. And you had that stretch in the second quarter. I think you got it down to six. Just what, what do you think started working for you guys as you started rode at the lead? I thought we played with more pace. You know, we, we were, I think, more active defensively, and I thought we played more with more pace offensively. Um, you know, we got out in transition a little bit. We were able to play in semi-transition before they were set, and uh, we got good quality looks, and I think we made them a little more uncomfortable during that stretch. We talked a little bit before the game about Patty Mills. Uh, seven for seven, three-point shooting tonight. What did you see from him that uh, you think is, is going to be big for this team going forward? Yeah, I mean, obviously the shooting was exceptional, but, you know, more so just the, the energy, the IQ, the experience. You know, he plays... Uh, you know, intelligently, he's able to compliment his teammates so well. Um, he just has that experience. So, um, you know, the skill, we know the shooting and, and skill, but his, uh, you know, just his, his attitude, his competitiveness, you know, the, the pace, the way he's able to compliment his teammates is, is exceptional as well. 